Hey everybody, Rick Needham, handicapping thoroughbred racing from Hollywood Park on Friday evening, June the 24th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Southern California Racing Report. Let's take a look at race two this evening, folks. 7:33 p.m. Pacific Post Time. Seven furlongs on Hollywood's cushion track. Phillies and mares, three years old, and up race for an allowance purse of fifty-five thousand dollars. Contenders number one, Lady Sweetness. Number three, Fashion Trend. Number two, Excellent News. And number four, Downhill Diva. Number one, Lady Sweetness. Nice early speed abilities to complement for this sprint. The specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt has hit the board in power run fashion. Each of her three career starts to date, including back to back power run wins in her last two adventures. Jockey Martin Garcia was in her arms for those two wins and back today for his third ride, gunning for a hat trick circle trip. Number three, Fashion Trend, a four to one shot, has produced power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in four of those outings, including power run wins in her third and four races back, which is indicative of a bounce pattern, folks, and the bounce will be up positive this afternoon if this pattern continues. Race two summary, number one, Lady Sweetness tops my contenders list, which also includes number three, Fashion Trend, number two, Excellent News, and number four, Downhill Diva, one, three, two, four, in the second from Hollywood Park. Bonus long shots, Fairmont Park, race six. Number six, Vice Lord, four to one on the morning line, is the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt. Mountaineer Park, Chester, West Virginia, race 10, entry number 7, ready for flight, a 5 to 1 shot, drops in class by 14 units, nice overall speed for this mile test on the dirt. So from Hollywood Park on a Friday night, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.